<gasps> we just gotta clear up the zombies. Get off me. Alright, this is about to be a battle. We need to make this work somehow. No! No! Oh no! Holy crap! Okay, well, maybe we just need to go home. Get off me, zombies! Get the out of here! Is that a helicopter? Oh man, that's a lot of zombies. Oh, that's one down. Ooh, that one almost bit me. That was not good. That was not smart of me to do. I just gotta get better at aiming that little circle once they come over. Like that! Get the hell off me, zombies. Alright everyone, welcome back. We have finally made it over a week in this game. It's my first time ever, whether I've played it now or before, that I've ever made it longer than a week. We're actually on day 8, soon to be day 9. Pretty happy with myself. Anyways, I am not sure what I'm going to do next. I've thought more about keeping this as my home, like I said I was going to do in the last video. But now I'm starting to think, because... I read about a really cool point through where someone was more nomadic, like they kind of just found a great car with great storage and just traveled around the map, constantly just scavenging as they went. So I'm kind of thinking about doing that, but at the same time settling down as a new player might be easier. Uh, if you have any comments on that, comment it down below. Let me know which would probably be better for me and my character and based on where I'm at in the game. Again. A general idea for anyone who hasn't watched of how good I am at this game, this is my first time past the week, so I'm not exactly a professional. Uh, I guess for now, we're just going to kind of move all the resources from our previous home to our new home. Everything that was, I stripped that house bare of everything, even the curtains for extra sheets, there is nothing left there. I fought a few zombies along the way, nothing too big. Um, one issue is I went on the bath over here and I went to go drink and I noticed instead of there being an infinite amount of water there is now only 100 out of 100 and I heard that little sputtering sound and realized damn the water shut off power is still on but the water is now off okay uh I think I know what I'm doing so we put the bucket in the oven Yes, yes. Alright, and then we go to settings. Uh, 400 should be fine. I'm not sure if we set a timer. Let's just turn that on for now. Hopefully we don't start a fire and burn our house down. You know what? Nah, we're just going to leave it in there. We'll leave it in there for now. We'll let it cool down. See, the red's going away already. Alright, so it's the middle of the dark. Oh, middle of the dark. Middle of the night. And it's very, very dark. But, uh, my character's getting bored, and I'm kind of ready to go. Uh, I've pretty much rearranged everything in the house to make sure it goes where it needs to go. Everything's nice and organized, nice and neat. So now, it's just gonna be all about going and picking up the good loots. Now, I found four tires in this little building, so I don't really think I need to worry about these sports tires right now. I do want to make my way back to the gas station though. I have like five gas cans that I can fill up with gas that I think would definitely be the right move right about now. I know there's going to be a bunch of zombies, but if I can do that, I mean we'll be pretty locked in on gas going forward. Out of curiosity, how do I detach this trailer and hook it onto the back of my car? Can I even do that with a car or do I need a different vehicle? I'm not really sure how that works, but I would love to get my hands on that trailer. Alright, we finally made it back to the station. Finally! Come on, 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 come on. Oh, look at that. It doesn't even weigh that much. Hold on! Aw, crap. Okay, it's only one. Easy. Okay, we're gonna have five full fuel tanks of gas now. This is absolutely phenomenal. And you might as well, I might as well fill up the tank of this gas right here while I'm at it.
I actually think I'm gonna do that. I might as well while I'm here. You're alright, you're alright, you're alright. Kind of. You need to take him down, man. Come on. God, Lee. Ugh. Okay, so this is how you fix up your car. You just take pieces from other cars. Okay. I'll keep that in mind down the road. Got a map to Mold Rock, Kentucky. Hmm. Okay, cool. Wait. Oh, an annotated map means Crazy Willie's trailer. Heard he turned. Hope all his guns still there. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, Crazy Willie. No, 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 no! Oh no! Oh no! What the hell just happened? Oh, please tell me. Oh, I'm bitten. Bandage, 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 bandage. Oh, I... I didn't know they broke the door open. Oh, no. Oh, no. Get the hell off me. Oh, no. Dude, I was just looting, and three of them were on top of me. I didn't even know what just happened. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, God. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. You have too much weight on you. you need to drop some of this stuff. <gasps> ah! I think I'm about to die. I think I'm legit about to die here. You just need to drop it. You need to drop it and get back in your car. You need to drop it and get back in your car. You need to drop it and get back in your car. Get back in! Oh god, you need the bandage! You need the bandage! Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, okay. We're okay. We're okay. We just need to get home now. We need to get home. No, dude, we were doing so good with this guy. Alright, we made it back home and. Oh man, I don't think things are gonna. Uh, we got bit. I mean, that's all there really is to it. I don't think I'm gonna be able to survive now because of that. Alright, I'm just gonna give everyone a general idea of what we're dealing with here a scratched laceration on the left forearm that's not too bad but then you look down here it is bitten and infected on our upper torso and it is <laughs> damn it is bitten and infected on our lower lower torso as well great that's just great. Oh the hell! This freaking storm blowing through! Godly! I'd never seen a storm this bad in this game. Holy crap! I wonder, could there be like tornadoes in this game? That'd be like the coolest thing ever. Anyways, like I was saying, since homie's pretty much on death's doorstep, I thought I might as well just take him out and kind of investigate parts of the world I want to investigate since he's probably not going to make it much longer anyways. Whatever. Alright, I'm going to go check out that little fenced-in area and see what I can find. Hopefully I can get back alive with this character, maybe get the car back. If not, I'm not too sure. I've also been debating on whether or not... When this character dies, should I make a new character in this world? Or start a new world? That's kind of what I'm debating on what I should do. 
So, if anyone has any suggestions on that, please feel free to comment. As I continue to distract myself and run into other cars, and trees, and all kinds of other crap. Over here trying to put on a new damn bandage, and you just gotta come ruin everything. All of you just had to come and ruin everything, huh? Finish y'all. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna slap this bandage on. Uh, walk, 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 walk. Turn around. Slice and dice. Stun him a little bit. Keep moving, keep moving. Alright. It's time to investigate the lands of the forest. What did we find here? What is this? Where's the entrance to this? Let me go around right here and check it out. See what exactly we got here. And it looks like we got some... Something we can go and look at over here. What is this place? Is this a radio tower? That must be what it is. Get out of here, lady! Ah! I forgot, I'm incredibly slow and weak. Oh, thank god. Alright, I guess uh, we could just keep it moving. Through the forest of doom. Well, we came to the end of the gate, and it really just looks like this whole gated area is for that one. One radio tower. Yeah, it just it's just for that one big long radio tower. You gotta be kidding me. Alright. Well, I guess I'll just keep traveling down the road till something interesting happens, such as me passing out, me starving, me getting attacked by zombies, me turning into a zombie, me dying. Ah yes. The achoo prone. To sneezing we got the sniffles it's because we've been out in the freaking cold rain this entire time I feel like at this point I'm just trying to speed up homeboys demise oh finally something some sort of activity oh my god is that a skeleton oh god their car blew up Jesus Okay, never mind. Not so much activity after all. Back to walking. Oh. Hold on. This stuff might help me. Get off me. Ow! Ow! She bit me. Ah! Oh, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. Just put the dirty bandage on. <gasps> They chased me. They chased me from all the way over there. Oh god. Okay, I don't I don't need this stuff. I don't need it. Uh, never mind, never mind, never mind. Y'all can have it. Y'all can have it. Ruin! Get the hell out of here! Oh god. Alright, let's go over our mood that's ridiculously tired. Peckish. Slight panic. Oh never mind. Nauseous. Severely depressed. Drenched. Nasty cold. Nervous wreck. Injured. Agony. Cold. Oh my god. Alright, as of five hours ago in this game, six hours ago now, as of six hours ago, I have officially survived two weeks in Project Zomboid. Unfortunately, it looks like it's not going to be three with this character, but, you know, I'll take that. I'm also only two zombie kills away from 100. I'd kind of like to hit that milestone, too. I feel like that's a good milestone. 100 zombies killed. Two weeks survived. Uh, I was hoping it'd be a lot longer, obviously, but uh, it's not going to be. Uh, we're also underweight now, so we got that new perk that is uh, holding us back, which kind of sucks. Um, our stats are looking absolutely miserable, as uh, probably to be expected, and we're trying to make our way back to the car so that we can get any loot that we have left to the house before we die horribly. Yep, yep. Just keep going. Oh, finally. I see it. I see the car.
Come on, 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 come on. It's cold. I don't give a damn if it's cold. It's been raining for what feels like days, by the way. It's absolutely insane for how long it's been raining. Ah! Get off me! Ah, crap. Um, we have officially lost power. I wonder, can this still work, even though it's lost power? Damn, no, it can't. I was just thinking maybe, possibly, it went off like gas. And if it went off of gas, then we should still be okay. But, uh, nope, we're not. We're, we're gonna die. It's over. We are critically injured, in agony, hot, nervous wreck, got a nasty cold, very depressed, sick, and hungry. Well, I guess now we can just... I don't even know. I guess just wait until our time has come. We lost power, so we can't even watch TV anymore. Even though we have these VHSs, that's all I wanted to do for the last part of my life. Watch TV. <sighs> I was told that depending on what you get, laceration, scratches, all that other kind of stuff isn't too bad. But once you get bit, you're pretty much done. And I got bit twice. Both on the torso. There's just no way. Oh my god, we are losing more health. We're, we're just, we're dying now. It's over. We are so, we are, we're, we're dead. Too much pain to sleep. Oh my god. This sucks. All we can do is sit here and wait till we die now. Look at our health just slowly ticking away, man. No. Oh, I'm so sorry, um, Toby. I forgot your name again. Oh, man. I probably could replace the bandages and help him live longer, but I just don't think there's a point anymore. It's time to just say goodbye. To our boy Toby here. Oh, he was our luckiest man. We lasted so long with him. 15 days. 98 zombies killed. Bare hands. Mainly us just stomping on them with our feet. Was our best weapon. Our scales are whack. I guess that happens. Oh. R.I.P. Toby. No. Oh, that was the longest I've ever made it in this game. 15 days, 3 hours. Probably still sounds like noob stats compared to some of the other pros out there. But I'm learning. I'm getting better at this game. Uh, I guess a few things to go over is one. I didn't realize that door had gotten broken open in a convenience store. And I didn't realize zombies had broken in, and I got ambushed, and I got bit up, and that's on me. It was just a stupid, careless mistake that got our boy Toby here killed. Uh, what else happened? I gotta learn to not run in the trees with the car, because the car's getting more jacked up than it needs to be. Uh, bitten pretty much equals dead. And I guess the final thing to go over is... For any of you who are watching currently, and have played Zomboid and are more professional than I am, should I create a new character in this world, the same world as Toby, and maybe try to find this home again, and try to keep this playthrough in this world going with just a new character, or should I just start a new world with a new character? With the power and the water going off, I'm leaning more towards a new world, but I'd be curious to hear everyone else's opinions on that. So throw that in the comment section, let me know, should I just start a new character in a new world, or stick with Toby in this world? Other than that, that's all I gotta say. Hopefully when I start this new character, I should be a lot better at this game, and be able to survive even longer than Toby here did. But, um, you know, guess I'll see. I'll check you on the next one. See y'all later. Peace.